News check on stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. A special town meeting will be held at the Salisbury Town Hall tonight with electors and citizens qualified to vote in town meetings of the town of Salisbury. It'll be at 7.30. A pretty lengthy agenda to combine the town's land capital building capital accounts into one account named Building and Land Capital. Expenditure not to exceed $80,000 from the Building and Land Capital account or borrowing to complete the relocation and rehabilitation of the access ramps and steps at Town Hall. An expenditure of $42,000 to be transferred from surplus for Salisbury Planning and Zoning Commission to review and change regulations to increase housing density in the village areas. Transfer of an amount not to exceed $40,000 from the town's land and building account and $30,000 from the Affordable Housing Capital Fund for improvements to 414 Millerton Road. The expenditure of an amount not to exceed $50,000 from the road funds to purchase 244 LED streetlights to adopt as an ordinance the open space land classification pursuant to CGS Section 12-107EA as adopted by town meeting to adopt the ordinance to the historic designation for two properties approved at town meeting on May 9, 2018 at 4 Main Street and 63 Millerton Road and to exempt taxation of horses and ponies from property taxation. Salisbury Visiting Nurse Association has a flu clinic coming up today, and that will be at their location from 9 until 3. A pasta dinner will be served from 5 till 7 tonight at Camp Eisner in Great Barrington to benefit the Southern Berkshire football chargers. Takeouts will also be available. The Town of Dover Town Board will hold a special meeting at 6.30 tonight at Dover Town Hall. Primary focus will be discussion of the tentative 2019 town budget. Draft agenda is available on the town's website, public portal, and board documents. The public is invited to attend. A new literary festival is coming to Norfolk, Connecticut, founded by local cultural lovers with support from the Norfolk Foundation. The inaugural session of the Haystack Book Festival will take place running from October 12th through the 14th. The weekend-long program will consist of five literary conversations among ten writers, critics, and environmentalists that will be in attendance. It will also include a Norfolk Historical Society exhibit on one of the earliest publishers of paperback books in the United States. For more information, norfolkfoundation.ne. T. Copake Park's 14th annual Haunted House will happen the 12th and the 13th, 6 to 9 p.m. on October 19th and 20th from 6 to 9 p.m. with a hayride after the Haunted House, weather permitting. It will be held at the Copake Park building on Mountain View Road in Copake, New York. Lakeville Journal and the League of Women Voters of Litchfield County will once again co-sponsor a candidate's debate for those running for the state 64th House and 30th Senate Districts. It will be held at Housatonic Valley Regional High School, Room 133, at 6.30 on Friday, October 12th. The moderator of the debate will be Pat Donovan of Litchfield, a longtime member of the League, who's helped with previous debates held in the northwest corner. Lifeguard training program at Taconic Hills program. American Red Cross certification starts October 22nd, but the registration deadline is October 13th. Age requirement, you must be 15 or older. The program does have a cost. More information, taconichills.k12.ny.us slash adult ed. The South Berkshire Household Harvest Waste Collaborative is once again teaming up with the Center for Ecotechnology, holding a paint and oil collection for 15 Berkshire County towns at the Great Barrington Recycling Center located at 601 Stockbridge Road, Saturday, October 13th from 9 until 1. You must pre-register online for the event. More information, 188-577-8448, extension 14. A household hazardous waste collection day being held in Connecticut on Saturday the 13th from 9 till 2 at Torrington Street Department. Now for the towns, well it's Canaan, Cornwall, Litchfield, Norfolk, North Canaan, Salisbury and Sharon and Torrington. Registration is required. Contact your town or city hall to register. No medical waste, explosives, waste oil or asbestos or electronics. A big event coming up in Sharon, October 13th. The Sharon Fire Department Ellsworth Station celebrating their 50th year of service to the community. They'll be running it from 10 until 1 at the Ellsworth Station on Dunbar Road. Light refreshments and ice cream. There'll be hay rides. Also, fire prevention info, touch truck, and you can check out the firefighters' gear. Coming up on Saturday, October 13th from 9 to 4 at Mohawk Mountain, it's the Fall Festival Craft Show at Music Mountain with a craft show and fun activities like hay rides, face painting, pumpkin carving, painting, 
food trucks, and more. More information is available at 860-672-6100 on the web, mohawkmtn.com. Lobster and Beef Barbecue at the Ankrum Firehouse, October 13th. Doors open at 2, dinner at 3. Tickets are $35 a person. There was a raffle. Doors open at 2 with hot dogs, hamburgers, sausage patties, and drinks available. Dinner is served around 3 p.m. Whole steam lobster, one bag of steamed clams, barbecue roast beef, potato corn rolls, and drinks. Reservations, 518-329-3430. Roast beef dinner held by the American Legion Post in Sharon at the Legion Hall in Sharon behind the firehouse on Saturday, October 13th, serving from 4 until 7 p.m. The price, $12 for adults. Children under 10, $5. Free under 5. Barbecued beef, mashed potatoes, gravy, salad bar, vegetable rolls, and dessert. It's all you can eat. Takeouts are available. Housatonic Child Care Center holding a wine and beer tasting and silent auction. Partnership with Salisbury Wines on Saturday, 5 till 7 p.m. at the Salisbury Town Grove. Light appetizers will be served. Silent auction items include gift certificates to local businesses and more. Tickets are $35 in advance, $40 at the door. For more information, 860-435-9694. The DM Hunt Library's 17th Annual Auction in the Village will be held October 13th, 5 to 8 p.m. at the Center on Main, 103 Main Street. It's the major fundraiser providing 15% of its annual operating budget. This year's top prize in the live auction, which starts at 7.15, is a week's stay at a five-bedroom stone farmhouse in the south of France, located in the Vation La Romaine, a first century Roman town, the house provides easy access to rich medieval and modern sites. The next swing dance takes place on Saturday the 13th at Dewey Hall on 91 Main Street in Sheffield. The group One Straw Revolution will feature standards from the swing area. The door is open at 7. The dance lesson will also feature Jason Fenton's at 7.30. No partners necessary. The live music starts one hour later. A double elimination cornhole tournament at the Sharon Valley Tavern October 14th at 12 noon double elimination tournament number two ten dollar buy-in there's a draw for teams first and second prizes the raid date will be sunday the 21st our business brief is underwritten by morgans at the interlake and interlake and in.com and salisbury bank salisburybank.com the dow jones industrial average was down 56.21 to 26,430.57 nasdaq starts off today at 7738.02 and the s p 500 at 2880.34 We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast that'll come your way in just a few moments. 